All right, guys, in this episode of Doc's Eye TV, we're going to go over the importance of good polarized sunglasses, especially in bass fishing, over heavy cover. On this episode, we're going to go over a lot of tactics using a Matrix Fluke and a very small version. Yeah, show them that. But what Charlie's got in her hand right now is we partnered her up with hook-ons, which connect to your glasses to keep them around your neck. They're a really cool little tool. They're very adjustable for how long you want them. And they're gonna be in your Matrix bait box. So this is a good box to get. And make sure you subscribe to our Dockside TV channel. Enjoy this episode. So you tell them, Charlie. Don't forget to subscribe to um, our YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good job, baby. Knock them up. to the morning a large mouth on that new matrix fluke beautiful blow up right there ah oh, missed him right there at the boat about a pound and a half or I think you'll be able to see that strike on camera. What I'm doing is I'm using the little three inch matrix fluke, but I'm using it on a weightless three yard hook. That way I can run it on the surface while it's low light hour. When I say a good one, this is a decent fish. We're not going to catch a lot of big fish today. We're going to catch a lot of little ones. We'll take these. These are nice little bass. And what we're doing today, and the reason why we're doing it, is we're just staying in our local canals where the Matrix Shed office is. We didn't put gas in the boat last night, so I got very little gas, so we're just gonna stay close, but that's okay, because we're gonna show you guys something different to do. And I'm glad we don't have get too much gas today, because it's a, we got up at the crack of dawn, and I woke up to what was supposed to be five to 10, and it's more like 10 to 18 out the west, which is a disaster for our fishery. You can catch them in that, but I'm not a fan. When you come out of Lake Pontchartrain, out of the pass, it's going to be super rough. But we're going to stay in protected waters and catch some residential bass using these little flukes right here. Have, we've had several bites already. Just trying to drive that hook in there. All right, again, we're going to go over this fluke swim bait style setup. Owner makes a really good swim bait hook because they got this pin 
that'll start your threading process. So you just stick that pin in, corkscrew it in. We want the green part of this, what we're calling shock top. We want the green part facing the hook because that's where the belly is, which has a big slit. You're gonna try to get it just right coming out that groove there. And then once you do that, we are having to skin hook it because we're riding it over this, I don't know what kind of grass this is, some kind of coontail wedging grass. This is what they want. If you heard that or saw that, but that fish just knocked the lure clean out the water. He wasn't big. Oh, he did it again. Little rascal. A lot of little rascals in here that just smacked that lure. Oh, he hit it again. I can't get a hook at him. Must be tiny. There's a gator right there. Let's see if I can show you him. There he is right there. four footer he ain't he's not supposed to be in here they got kids and people swimming and tubing back here all the time but, <clears throat> they're typically more scared of you than you are of them Clean out the water and hit it. Just couldn't get the hook in. Come on. Depending on the situation, there's two different styles of boat positioning you can do here. Whenever you're fishing a shoreline or a grass edge like this. So right now we're obviously I call this parallel in the bank. I'm coming right down the side of where the grass ends. Or you can do something where you can fish perpendicular to the bank and throw up in there and drag it from the shallow part of the grass and come on out. And a lot of people do things called punching. They can punch into this grass. We're fishing basically like a topwater fluke over the grass. Getting a lot of bites. Landed a few, but if we would have landed every one we've had strike at it, we'd be close to a limit by now. A little chunker. That one didn't really hit it on the surface. I didn't see that one. A little underwater strike, felt a tension, set the hook. You wanna really drive that hook, that way you can push it through the plastic as it's rigged weedless and punch it in their mouth. like fighting a four pounder because he had a couple pounds of grass on him at one point. It's a good eating size if you want to keep them. So this is the type of grass that we're fishing right here. I'm no biologist but I 
know grass is the key to catching fish, especially nowadays with the fresh water producing so much grass. And that's the key even in salty situations when we're speckled trout fishing, grass beds, sight fishing reds, and what we call snot grass, fishing bass, and what I think this is coontail, I think. This is, uh, grass is the key. You know, it, uh, bait fish hide in there, fish can camouflage in there, and that's what they want. Now, sun's starting to come up. Got my glasses hanging on these hook-ons that we're gonna put in our matrix bait box this month, both glasses and the hook-ons. We're gonna put the sunglasses up, and I'm gonna tell you why this is important. A good pair of polarized sunglasses is gonna tell you exactly where that grass's edge is at, because you're gonna be able to see into that water really good. You know, I didn't really need the glasses this morning, just because I've been fishing back here a lot and I knew where that grass edge is. But if I was unfamiliar to this territory, the glasses are really gonna give you an advantage of seeing how far out that grass line comes out. And that's the key, guys, fishing grass edges. I can't tell you how many videos we have on this, whether it's fishing a fluke over it or the matrix crawl like a frog over it or fishing the edge of it in the winter time, jigging a matrix shad for speckled trout, redfish, bass. Grass is the key and you need the glasses to be able to see exactly how that contour changes. Let's see if we can pull another one out this grass. of the dinks all most of the morning came back to a dead end right here got on some grass got a good chunk right there matrix fluke baby this episode on this guy right here hope you enjoyed this episode of dockside tv catching little bass right here in the local canals if you uh this technique works everywhere for bass especially in clean water and um across the whole country but if you're a local around here in louisiana this is E Niles. This is this technique works good in Bayou Liberty, Bayou Bumpica, Bayou Lacombe. If you get some clean areas in the Chifuncta, Lakeshore States, Go Higgins Canal, where the flukes over the grass. So make sure to subscribe to our um, Matrix Bait Box if you want to get some flukes in there. And we're gonna also have these. You're gonna get a new pair of Matrix shades along with some hook-ons to go on the earpieces. Make sure to subscribe to our Dockside TV, and until next time, good fishing. Hey everyone, I'm Baron Brechtel with Hook On Outdoors. I wanted to let you all know we're gonna be in the next monthly Matrix box, so visit matrixshad.com, subscribe to their box to get your great pair of hook-ons and awesome fishing products today. channel.